What's going on YouTube? It's Dab back with another video. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about how to decipher between what makes a project good and what makes a project bad. And this will apply to projects of all levels, projects that are brand new, all the way to projects that are just about to launch or have launched already. It really just depends on how much information you're able to gather from these projects right off the bat. And with that being said, if that interests you guys, make sure to stick around to the end of the video and let's get straight into it. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna be using two brand new projects that I just found uh, yesterday, and I'm going to be kind of running through how I'm able to gauge these projects and uh, know if they'll be able to uh, be a decent project or if they're kind of scammy or ruggy. It's definitely something that you start to pick up on the more projects that you continue to look at. I feel like at some point, you really start to just be able to gauge kind of just by peeking at projects, like if they're gonna do uh, good or not sometimes obviously you'll miss some or something along those lines but uh, so for this project in particular I'm gonna be looking at mysterious world this project just made their first tweet on May 2nd and it was super cool art it, it looks amazing and they got a ton of interaction they blew up almost at 8,000 followers now but when I was looking at their profile there was there was no information on any of their team. There was no artist uh, announcing soon or their collab and they weren't following anyone. So that's immediately like a red flag for me. There's no information on the people that are backing this project and there's no information on the team as a whole. Now you can see that there is a person to collab with but they don't even have a single tweet. They don't follow a single person and they just created their account in February of this year. Uh, so that's definitely another red flag, which could mean that this account was just made and then they are just using this to try and create a hyped up account and then obviously either use this to sell it or create a scam project hoping that people don't find out. Uh, so I did end up looking at this uh, image here and I was pretty curious to see if this was like stolen art or not because that is something that a lot of scam projects do. So I clicked on the image here and I did a reverse image search with Google. As you can see, there's a lot of results that pop up for this individual image that they used. And so obviously it's not original art. As you can see, it's been used on a lot of different websites. So it's on SoundCloud, Vagon. Uh, it's also, I believe, an anime show, um, a silent voice back from 2016. It's been used for uh, lo-fi background image on YouTube. It's also on wallpaper websites. And that right there just screams rug to me. Uh, so I definitely would not even engage with this account at all. I did end up putting a tweet out saying this art was stolen and I recommend not following them. Uh, and then as you can see, they did put out another tweet and it looks like they tried to copy the same exact uh, image almost but just turned it and you can see the difference of quality in between these two pieces of art uh, This is a lot more trash in my opinion um, This art is just looks nowhere near as professional as what this is or obviously they got caught red-handed and Knew that this was stolen art. So then they tried to change it in there into their own uh, Which doesn't really look very good for a project. So I would highly recommend uh, definitely looking into uh, that it only takes about 10 seconds to do a quick reverse image search if a project's artwork looks too good to be true you can do a quick reverse image search and immediately be able to tell if the artwork is stolen or not Google doesn't lie uh, if there's other sources for this image itself then I would highly recommend staying away you can look into a couple of the links sometimes it'll be stolen from like Behance which is artist personal accounts and if you look into their account, a lot of them will say, I don't do NFT projects or anything like that. And then right from there, you can tell. Also, there is a few Twitter accounts that do uh, share rug pulls and such like that. So you can keep an eye on those profiles as well and see if these projects end up popping up on that page. And then you'll know for sure if it's uh, stolen or not. And a good example of a project that is still super early on, they only have one tweet so far, and this came out yesterday as well. Uh, it's just like a little sneak peek, but when you look at the profile, you can see that there is someone being followed by the profile, and it happens to be the artist of the project itself. And they do have links to their OpenSea, their Instagram, their foundation, and it says they are the creator of the orange 
project, uh, which is good to see that there is a name behind it and they've been in the space or at least on Twitter since August of 2021 which is really good to see that it's not a completely new account and you can go ahead and look through all of their uh, previous work and be able to tell that this art isn't stolen this is obviously the creator of the artwork it replicates pretty much exactly what the uh, projects Twitter was promoting uh, artwork which looks almost exactly like this. And so you can kind of expect that this project is going to have artwork of some sorts along the lines of these types of sneak peeks. And definitely something that is really good to see that the project does have an artist behind it and the creator is known uh, at least a little bit and they do have like experience and links and all of that type of stuff. So moving on to uh, another project that's a little bit more established and does have a solid team behind it. I have talked about this project in a previous video of mine. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll link it right up here and you guys can go check that out real quick if you'd like. But talking about this project, so you can see that they do have like a website and you can go ahead and look at the team's track record behind this project. You can see all about their project and, and a quick checklist that I would go over is looking at their engagement on Twitter. So you can see that they have 13.8 thousand followers right now and they do get a pretty solid amount of engagement. There's not really bots just running up their posts, uh, which is really good. And you can kind of tell that it's quite the consistent amount of engagement per post. Uh, which is usually good to see that there's not like a ton of just huge numbers um, and only like a small amount of comments compared to like 10,000 retweets and 10,000 likes and only say 3,000 comments or something like that. And this project is also not doing whitelist giveaways to grow their page. So they're growing organically using the names behind the project itself to be able to uh, grow the hype and kind of just organically growing their project, which is amazing to see. Not a lot of projects do that nowadays. A lot of projects do just run nonstop whitelist giveaways and that will be their entire Twitter feed. So if you guys see projects that are just running consistent whitelist giveaways and their numbers are just majorly inflated, like they have a, over 100,000 followers and they haven't even launched yet. And every post that they do post is just whitelist giveaway after whitelist giveaway and just engagement farming. That's usually not a good sign to see because the project isn't able to create a consistent community and get consistent engagement without using those engagement farming tactics, which is usually a red flag, but sometimes, I mean, projects do a lot of collaborations and they want to share those. Uh, so it depends on the level of collaborations. Like if they're collaborating with very well-known projects that have already had successful launches, that's a good sign to see that uh, projects are bullish on them and they are partnering with them before their launch. So they have faith that the project will be successful or at least do decently enough to partner up with them and put their name of their project behind the other project that's about to launch. As I was saying, like a lot of whitelist giveaways and engagement farming is not a good sign to see. And usually it just leads to almost a failed project in my opinion, like the projects will not last very long. The people behind the project may not have much experience and so they're just using all of these engagement farming tactics to be able to grow a project and be able to sell it out or at least get some money from the project from using all of those partnerships to blow their Twitter page and Discord page up. And a couple other things I would be looking for is the supply of these collections. The 10,000 supply collections don't really do too well anymore. So really anything below, I'd say like, 7,000 is a decent collection size, better than having a 10,000 collection size because a lot of these projects are just flopping because they have too much supply. And especially if they're charging a pretty high mint price, that's also not a good sign to see when they're making a huge collection because they're just trying to make as much money as possible. And that really doesn't give me a lot of faith in the team unless they are planning on creating some crazy stuff. And a lot of these projects do make a lot more promises than they can 
really bring to fruition if they're not able to keep those promises and be able to deliver on top of them uh it's definitely kind of just like a, a slow rug is what it would be called where they just sell out and then they hang around for a couple months kind of make some small announcements or say there's announcements coming in the future and then really don't perform on any of the promises that they've been talking about and just kind of disappear and then hope people forget about them and then they'll just disappear with the money and then everyone's left just holding a bag so it's definitely something to keep in mind you can go inside of these projects discords you can see how lively the chat is you can see how active the people are in there if there's real genuine conversations going on inside of it or you can tell the difference between a real human inside of a chat and a bot if there's a lot of bots inside the chat it's usually not a good sign to see because obviously the project doesn't care enough to ban those bots or make sure that they don't get into their chats and just consistently allow them to continue to chat inside of their chats to make it look like it's more active, even though it's really not, it's just like a load of bots. Uh, so definitely another thing to keep in mind and just being able to gauge what is real engagement versus fake engagement is huge. Also, I did see a tweet from Popeye earlier and giveaways are getting heavily botted uh, and some of these projects will be botting themselves and some of these projects don't really have the choice people will just bot their giveaways and it's kind of an easy way to tell so right here he posted a screenshot and it shows the difference between the comments and the retweets so if there is almost 17,000 retweets and 17,000 likes but only 3,000 comments and so if you do some quick math here there's about 14,000 bots or so on this individual giveaway obviously it doesn't show like what project th this is but that's besides the point uh it's kind of just showing like being able to gauge these numbers and as you can also see there's only 5,800 views uh so the legitimate amount of people that have joined this is 3,290 give or take and the rest of these engagements are just bots joining this giveaway hoping to win a giveaway that they didn't correctly like enter i guess and so that's definitely something to just watch and make sure you can be able to decipher legitimate people compared to a super inflated following off of bots and seeing projects just blow up out of nowhere all because of bots and one last slightly important thing that i do look at is who the accounts are followed by so if they're followed by a good amount of people that i do follow uh, that's usually a good sign and you can go ahead and check and see like if they're followed by a couple of the big names inside of the space and usually when projects are followed by big names in the space it does mean that these projects are doing something correct to where these bigger people want to follow these projects but it does not guarantee that the project is a good project it could just mean that these bigger names inside of the space are going to be doing whitelist giveaways for them or anything like that so definitely don't just gauge the entire project just because there's a couple big names following the project uh, projects get follows all the time and they can have super inflated followings and that doesn't mean that the project is going to do great 100% of the time. So following everything that I went over previously, that's pretty much my way of going about to see if a project is going to be a good project or a decent project or kind of like a scammy and ruggy project. Kind of just takes time to be able to spot these projects and know that these projects are either here to take your money and run or they're here to actually build something pretty cool so being able to spot that uh using that kind of checklist that i gave you guys is something that i would highly recommend doing and just start to use that for every new project that you start to see or projects that you're looking to invest into and then you can kind of gauge for yourself and say okay this project looks pretty good or this project doesn't look very good based on the things that i'm seeing here here and here and be able to make your own personal analysis on projects as well and that's all i have for you guys in today's video if you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful please make sure to drop a like down below. Hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for future uploads. And thank you guys for watching to the end of the video. I hope you have an amazing day. Peace out.